Hello, hello, and welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. Today, we're talking about celebrate or celebrating, either one. <laughs> we always seem to be celebrating something. Janet's birthday at work, a baby shower for your niece, a wedding for your best friend's son, the weekend, Taco Tuesday. But how many times do you celebrate you? Do you know how incredibly awesome you are? You are the only you on this planet. Even if you have an identical twin, you are still unique and different in your own way. Our society equates celebrating with food, right? Birthday has to have cake. Girls' night out has to include wine. Date night has to include dinner and dessert. Think about all the times where food is the main player in the things that you do. Life isn't about food. Yes, you need food to stay alive. And yes, I do think food needs to be, taste good. But you can celebrate without eating or drinking something. I know you are trying to lose weight and you are looking forward to that elusive day when you have arrived at the ideal weight you have deemed that you are now worthy at. But what about celebrating as you're losing the weight? Not just when the scale gives you the number you wanna see or when your pants are looser. Celebrate when you decided not to eat when your stomach was not growling. Celebrate not overeating. Celebrate when you show up for your workout, even when you didn't want to go. Celebrate when you've completed your workout. Celebrate when you are aware that you are choosing to overeat. How about celebrating when you feel proud of yourself or when you treated yourself with love and compassion in the way you talk to yourself? Celebrate all the wins. When I get on coaching calls with my clients, we talk about what they're celebrating. And some clients feel like this is a foreign word to them. They want to tell me about all the things they screwed up in the past week. That doesn't serve you. Our brains are programmed to point out all the things that we quote unquote did wrong. It's its way of trying to keep us safe. But you need to dive into all the things that you did right first. When you go with what is working, your brain will bring up a whole database of all the ways you're on the right path. Then when you go into what didn't go as planned, you are better prepared to find solutions rather than just going down the rabbit hole of the I suck fest, right? What could you celebrate right now that could move you one eighth of an inch closer to the healthier body that you want? And if you aren't celebrating, why not? Getting a healthier body doesn't have to include willpower or white knuckling it. You don't need pills or potions to be successful. You can eat the foods that you love. You can play in your favorite activities. Lasting weight comes from how you think and feel about yourself and then the actions that you take to become healthier. So if you aren't celebrating, you need to change the way you look and feel at how you lose weight. If you're curious how to put this all together for you, I wanna invite you to schedule your discovery call with me today. On the call, share how your body just isn't cooperating with your ideas and what is the body you really see yourself living in. One of the greatest benefits of this call is you will get my expert eye on what is going on. And I'm going to point out some blind spots that you're going to be missing and that are keeping you stuck. And we're going to talk about what it would like be like to work together. And if you're all in, we'll get started right on the call. Regardless of whether we decide to move forward and work together, you will leave that call with insight on what steps you need to take to move yourself closer to the healthier body you want to live in. So go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call and schedule your call today. I cannot wait to talk to you and have a beautiful week. And I will talk to you next week, if not sooner, on your discovery call.